What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. As you see today, we're going to be reacting to the official uh, NBA 2K23 gameplay presented by Joe Knows, who is a 2K YouTuber. If you don't know who it is, not no pun intended, but um, it's going to be very mid or pretty impressive. I, I don't know. I'm waiting to see. Uh, the original video will be linked down below so you can check that out without the reaction. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel as well as follow me on Twitch. Twitch will be linked down below as well. And oh, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite 2K is. Comment that down below as well as any other videos you want me to react to. Comment that down below. And I mean, nothing else really left to say. So let's just get into the video. The time has finally come. I can show you NBA 2K23 gameplay finally. Make sure y'all drop a like on the video, man. 2K23. It's an official you know, gameplay, but I mean, it's... I'm trying to grind this thing harder than ever before. Pause, but we're trying to grind this. You don't pause. We, we grow man around before, here. Man. So make sure y'all drop a like on the video. Let's get this video to 25,000 likes. And y'all already know tomorrow I'm allowed to drop the My Player Builder. Also, if I look dumb shiny, I just got back from the gym and I just took a shower for some of my face is moisturized. I apologize. That's the video I think majority of you are waiting for, but in the time being, let's check out some. My player already builder. know tomorrow I'm allowed to drop the my player builder. That's the video I think majority of you are waiting for, but in the time being, let's check out some of this gameplay. All right. Hey Joe, Joe, I, I, I messed with your videos. Take that nasty ass KD jersey down, bro. Take that off you all. So here, I can only show gameplay from the Jordan challenges, okay? From the Michael Jordan challenges. So I know some people are going to care about, like, the cinematics and everything. So I'm going to go over, like, just how well done it was. and, and, and Okay, all right, all right. I mean, let's see. Yeah, I'm just trying to get to the video, Playboy. Let's go right here. W, w sponsor, though. W sponsor. For prize picks today, they will double there you your go. first deposit. Thank Use that code, Joe knows on prize picks. In this video. All right, so let's get into these cinematics, man. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice is, right, you load into the menus, you start off with Jordan in college, all right, the game against Georgetown, and, uh, you know, they do some, like, inter I think, like, Kenny Smith has, like, a little interview. It's really well Louisiana. done. It's really authentic to the era. Like, anyone that likes basketball, like, real basketball, I'm not just talking 2K, anyone that really likes basketball you're gonna notice just how authentic it is like the graininess of the of the tv broadcast the graphics of the broadcast how y'all feel about that really really good now you're gonna notice it's so they're not a three-point line hurts your eyes like i started playing this for like a minute or two and i was who's like, on a team who's on gotta... team let's see if we can name um uh, barnett was that dick barnett i don't fucking know michael jordan of course james worthy uh sam perkins i think i don't know kevin bacon Floyd, uh, Floyd Mayweather, Duncan, Tim Duncan, Steve Nash, McRae. I don't know. I don't know McRae. And then Patrick Ewing. Ugh. Turn off the era filter. I think that's what it's called, era filter. You're going to see, like, once the game starts. I ain't going to lie. Era, it's so, like, blurry. We're so used to, like, Patrick Ewing look kind of tough. Now, but it's authentic to the time period, so it's really, really cool. Was that Sam Perkins or I just said it right in Perkins? Kendra Perkins. The, I'm going to go as far as to say even the style of play, like, with no three-point line, like, it's very congested. Everybody's, like, you know, yeah, kind of close to the basket. But you see right here, I'm going to go, and you can turn it off, and it makes it, you know, completely oh, HD. Okay. It makes it, you know, not give you a headache. But like I said, it's really cool. This game is Excuse for me. Team USA. Um, you know, young Michael Jordan playing for Team USA. Labor. Playing against the '80s All Stars. So like, I, you know, I don't think this was like a real game that happened. I could be wrong, and maybe you know, maybe some somebody, you know, they're gonna kill me in the comments. Like, no, I don't know if that was a real game or not either. But if it was not a real game, and Two K threw this in the game. This brother's the the point that it's an agenda to gas up Michael Jordan. That's just, that's just me though. That's just that's just hey, that's just a theory. A game. <laughs> like, oh, you don't know the history of basketball. My fault. I forgot about one game, maybe. But the next one. Joe, I'm with you. I don't know either. Boston, where Jordan scored, I think 63 points. He was going crazy. I think yeah, this is real. Said it was, this is real. Game. You know, he described it like he was. Uh, I think he said he's Jesus described it, uh, disguised as Michael Jordan or something along those lines. Like it was, you know, it was just a crazy game. He was a one man wrecking crew, and they ended up getting swept in this series. I think, but it was still a standout thing from Michael Jordan. Like, knock on my door. He was just unstoppable. You know, as you can see. 
it looks really good it's just it, it's authentic and that's that's what i appreciate about this i'm not really one that's big for like single player game modes playing against the computer but it is really yeah authentic not either in terms of like the history of uh basketball the history of michael jordan so it, it's cool no doubt about it it is really cool the way they did it you know you can see uh just everything about it the, the court the broadcast the graininess everything that i said you know even oh, y'all gotta, gotta style, text. Like I said, I'm, I'm still paying attention authentic to the time period but let's get into what everybody is here for or i one of these missiles hit the city people are gonna die we have a hostage situation stay on point Copy. Modern Warfare, I'm not gonna turn that shit off. Lame ass Call of Duty. Maybe some people wanted to see the Jordan challenges and whatnot. But what I think y'all are here for is gameplay. I'm gonna give you my yes, thoughts. Yes, the now, gameplay. A couple things in consideration before we get into it. First of all, I'm playing against the computer. Okay, I'm playing against the computer. It's not on park difficulty. There's no setting in here to put it on park difficulty. Mike Lang said park. I think he said park is gonna be closest to Hall of Fame this year. So it's gonna be a little more challenging, which is good. But there is no Hall exact of Fame? park difficulty setting here. So things could be Jeez. different when y'all go to the park or Pro Am or Rec or wherever y'all end up playing. Also, I was not invited to this event to give feedback and change things about the games. And I'll say, Tough. oh, Joe was telling them Tough. to put this shoulder in there or put this dunk in there or this shot animation. I didn't tell them anything. I just went and played the game and I'm giving y'all my feedback about what I saw. Okay? But let's get into the first thing I noticed stamina and dribbling and how does this whole three uh what did they call adrenaline meters i think they were calling it. you have your stamina meter and then three adrenaline meters so everyone was wondering like what actually takes away from your adrenaline meters let's look at this footage okay mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. you're gonna notice coming from the word. court you have three bars under your stamina bar those are your adrenaline meters basically what i noticed man any explosive movement you do it's gonna take an adrenaline meter. So you see every Ooh. explosive behind the back that I do, I lose it. And look at how I, Yo. Move. Once I lose those adrenaline meters. You are slow as a snail. Now I'm blinking and I have no adrenaline meter. You're useless. No more cheesing. No more cheesing. With that, all right. Unless you, unless off of momentum, you lose it. Off of I do predict um, this will help with like the cheesing and etc. But I do feel like uh, what am I looking? What's that you, if you hit a certain attribute for your ball you handling, it. it won't matter so any as much. Or you be able to get a badge, and it doesn't matter momentum, as much. I lose an adrenaline bar. Look at cross back. I don't lose it, but I do the little misdirection. I lose a stamina bar. Anytime I yikes, I, did, I speed boost it out of anything. I would lose yikes. an adrenaline bar. So you, you know, dribbling this year, I don't know, man. Maybe if you have Gatorade and stuff, it's gonna be different, but. It looks like you're, you know, if you run left, right, left, right, left, right, you're going to be out of adrenaline. You're going to be moving like a snail. So it's going to be different. Like, and I'm blinking now, and there's nothing. I end up getting smashed into the into the ground. Hey, that, and that's basketball now, back there. That's, see what that's saying, real right? basketball. And this is one thing I noticed, too. Check this out. I'm just running up the court here off the catch, right? I catch no Jordan, and you're going to see, just from running forward, I lose an adrenaline meter. Like, is that a glitch? Is that meant to be there? I don't know. If Yo, it's no me, way, bro. Catch the ball. And I start running up the court, and that's already one adrenaline meter. <laughs> We're going to have some adjustments to make because people are going to be boxed up. They're not going to be able to create anything. There's yeah, no way. Is it too much? Like, we have to wait and see, obviously. Like, maybe Gatorade will make a difference. No, that's too much. If I had to buy... <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Let's move on to the next If I had, if I had to buy Gatorade to keep my adrenaline up for running up the court, the it's crazy. Badge, all right? So, something I noticed literally right away. Now, again, it could be different in the park. It could be different because I was playing against AIs. You know, playing against a computer, it's always different. But just look at some of these animations. That boy showing that sponsor, ain't he? Okay? <laughs> Check this out. Obviously, it is Michael Jordan. Take that into consideration. He's one of the best drivers of the ball we've ever seen. But look at hey! this. I just manhandle this dude. Throw the shoulder into him. Move him out of the way. Little ass <laughs> boy. If that's going to be little the boy. going to be in trouble if they make these little guards because... Look at this. I just yeah, I'm making move him. Job Morant. Literally move him with my strength. Uh, and, and there was a lot of these nice animations, like, realistic. Look at I throw my shoulder into the chest of the shot block. It's real. I like it's that layout, though. I like that layout, really though. It's realistic. It looks really cool. I like it. And it's like, you're an old head. You like to drive. Like, I mean, I guess, bro. I mean, I just like basketball. And, and to me, this is part of basketball. And on top of it, it might be for the first time... I know strength has mattered, but 
let's be honest <clears throat> if there was a choice between speed and strength speed, speed. always came out on top definitely maybe like definitely a or something but if you're telling me now you can make bigger ball handlers with strength and if a smaller guard is on you, he's not just gonna be able to stay between you and the hoop because he's faster. You're telling me I'm gonna be able to move him out of the way, Giannis, LeBron, people like that. Move the smaller guy out hey, of the hey, way. And put LeBron up first rim. when you say I that. Put LeBron good. first when you say balance. that. Balance. I think it's realistic. I think it makes smaller players have to make an adjustment, not just say, "Oh, I'm faster. I beat you to a spot. I'm good." Like, no, you might be faster, but I'm stronger. So there's give and take. There's positives and negatives. You know, just like you could run around me because if i don't get the body up my strength doesn't matter your speed you get around me the same thing just because your speed beat me to the yeah spot, stronger than you. I move you out definitely of making a slasher it really don't care how you feel about it john ja morant type really, really <laughs> run through. it's a debate for another day i'm just saying i noticed there's definitely new body up animations part of that has to do with the bully badge for the first time we have a, a, a badge that is strictly correlated to strength Bully badge is strictly correlated to strength. So if you're, if you have no strength, even if you're big with no strength, you're not, you can't get bully badge. So just like the description Mike Wayne put out of, of the badges for us that we, that we read, I think it was in um, a course I report a while back. Bully badge, I think it, it could, it could, it could be something different. All right, but let's move on. Okay, let's talk about I was like, shoot. what are we talking let's about? Let's talk about the delayed green <laughs> pop-ups that people What are we want to talking see. about? Let's talk about shot contests a little bit. Now, as y'all watch these clips, right, we have to take into consideration the fact that this is playing against the computer, right? Obviously, a person could push what the happened? right stick up. They could press Y. They could do different things. Oh, a green shot contest, But this is over a dude with lock take. And I green it right in his face, basically. I mean, he's there, but it's kind of a, I guess, a late hit. How? Huh? How were y'all playing basketball? Like, there's no three point line. It's just, it's just nothing there. I don't yeah, get no, it, bro. I think also talked about shot contests a little bit, and he was talking about. Hold on, what happened? I need to see I'm, I'm talking and shit. But this is over a dude with lock take, and I green it right in his face, basically. I mean, he's there, but it's kind of a, I guess, a late hand up. Mike Mike also talked about. I don't like this. A little bit delayed about, green. That's you know disgusting. they revamped it. I think he was it in a course side report or a tweet. I don't know, but he was talking about, you know, really registering where the hand is and how it affects. You have not seen what I have seen. Evil does not sleep. I still haven't watched this yet. I reacted to it. Is it even out? Yeah, it's out. I haven't watched it yet. I need to watch it. So I said I was going to. I need to watch the, the movies uh, first, actually. Which I did watch. I did watch one of the movies affects the shot if it's a late contest but basically y'all see the delayed greens here right so the green doesn't pop up until the ball is already in the hoop. i mean you see even the ai players out here shooting off dribble shots that's Larry nasty Brown. but um, you see the green right it doesn't pop up until the ball is literally already in the basket now i think that's long think neck long neck ass boy what <laughs> what is <laughs> but um you see the green right it doesn't pop up until the ball is literally already in the basket boy what is this why is his neck like th that boy said hold on let me get in the camera that dude... what the f why is his neck like this bro it's like one of them dinosaur long neck dinosaur boy throat go that throat coat that what, what is this why y'all do it Jack? bruh I think that's a good thing, honestly. It, it makes it more suspenseful. Like there was times I was Expandable shooting. Expandable neck. Even talking to Fana about it. You know, Fan is in the 2K league, a very competitive player, comp stage player, all that. I was talking to him. I was like, "What do you think about the greens?" He was like, "I like it. It's a lot more suspenseful." And I was like, "Yeah, it's like I'm shooting. I'm like, think I'm gonna air ball, and then and then it's you know it goes right in and, and the green. Pops what? Why do I? Why do I care about it, that? It's cool. It makes it. So I'm not green up when I green it. Edge, I want to go in the basket. On the shot, as opposed to before. As soon as it comes off your fingertips, you already know if you made it or. Or you whited it, you know? So yeah. I think it's a cool little change. It's okay, a what if you, small detail. So, so with that being the thing, what if you have a shot meter on? Let's say the shot meter's out the game. Like, if you shot, got a shot meter on, you see if you green right away, wouldn't you? But overall, I think it'll add a little bit more excitement into every, whether it's park, career, pro-am, rec, whatever you're playing, I think it'll add a little bit more excitement and suspense, all right? Now, the next thing, the dunk meter. 
Now, I'm going to be honest. I was rushing a little bit at this point. So oh, I didn't meter. test the dunk okay. meter, but I got footage from Laker fan, and I got his feedback on the dunk meter. Okay? So I was in a rush because I wanted to get to the builder for you guys. I was just trying to get the gameplay footage as quickly as possible. So I didn't even think, like, hey, test the dunk meter. See what's up. So this is from Laker fan. Shout out to him. Let's check out this footage, all right? So we have a couple clips here. First thing you're gonna notice is the dunk meter is not that little circle thing that we had last year on next gen. It is actually what? looks like a shot meter, which like I said, makes it a lot easier to time. So that is a Does cool it? thing, you know. Maybe, also, maybe like actually, maybe. maybe. Looks... <clears throat> I don't know. Also, I like the fact Maybe I just got used to the other one. It doesn't, I feel like the other meter was like in the way of the dunk. You didn't even really get to see the animation. Now I feel like this meter, it's off to the side. It's not mm. taking away from the actual contact dunk animation. Also, what Laker fan said is, I don't know if y'all saw what Mike Wang was got talking the about with stuff like, on the air, so. stick combos, like you could flick up and then hold down, or you could flick down and then hold down. He said that was the uh -huh. only time the dunk meter popped up for him. Every other time, like it would just give him a normal dunk, whatever the case may be. But he had to basically hold. Let me grab my controller. So... Oh, he about to do it. But rewind it. I gotta hear it again. Down and then hold down. He said that was the only time the dunk meter popped up for him. Every other time, like it would just give him a normal dunk whatever the case may be, but he had to basically, hold on, let me grab my controller. So, like Mike Lang was talking about with the right stick, right? Like to, to, to do Xbox stuff, boys. Yes, sir. Combo. So like you flick up and then hold down. It's not like you just run and hold down. Now you flick up, hold down, or you could flick down, hold down. And that was something that, uh, like so yeah, mentioned hold. to me and saying like, you had to do that to get the dunk meter to pop up. Why? Now, the last it's thing, I know a lot of people probably it, have it other work. gameplay questions when i tell you i was not focused on game pass focused on the builder but i think some of this info is cool and i want to see the builder i want to see the builder. stamina that was a big question i was getting but also people were asking about slashers our slashers are going to be good because it seemed like a lot of the news we were getting was catering and favoring slashers so let me just show you all some of these clips i was getting John Morant. again it's with michael jordan against the computer it is michael jordan Take with a grain of salt but yes computer some of these layups, man, and a lot of people were talking about it was like saying like layups going like crazy. Like some of these layup animations and some of these shots I'm hitting like with no stamina, low stamina. I'm going up against like Robert Parrish. Like he's a big center, a good rim protector. That, what the? F and I don't know, man. Some of these layups I feel like shouldn't be going in, but they were like that shit. Yeah, that's that's that crazy. That, that one before that was crazy life. too. I, I know it's Michael Jordan. I, I mean spin no stamina that's like, crazy yeah yeah it's looking like a slasher it's game it's basically my career with michael jordan against the computer mm. but i'm just showing you y'all asked to see what are slashers like i mean these are a couple slashing clips so listen it might be a slasher adrenaline, game adrenaline bars adrenaline meters whatever you want to call them <clears throat> it's gonna be a big adjustment in my opinion we'll have to see with gatorade we'll have to see with different like players i don't know what jordan's like handles for days are on and stuff like that what his badges are for playmaking at this point in his career but we'll have to really see i think it's gonna be a big adjustment all the people that complain about just people that speed boost left speed boost right speed boost left speed boost right if the adrenaline thing works the way it's supposed to they're only gonna be able to do that three times and then they're gonna be moving like a snail like you saw lovely in so that's lovely a big adjustment lovely um, like i said i didn't spend a lot of i had about six hours in there or, or maybe seven hours six seven hours in there i didn't spend a lot of it getting gameplay i'm not gonna lie to you my big focus was the builder that's gonna be the the big video that's tomorrow's big video but this is a little bit of gameplay out, yeah. oh, we'll, we'll check like out. i said the embargo for the builder does not lift until tomorrow at three so make sure you got noties on because as soon as three hits tomorrow that video is going live well, hope y'all enjoyed this. A little bit of gameplay info, a little bit of clips so you can at least see kind of how things look. And uh, that's all for me, man. Like I said, make sure I drop a like, subscribe if y'all are new. I'll catch you on the next one. We're on that grind this year, man. All right, all right. So, I mean, hey, everybody go go subscribe to Joe Knows. Drops, uh, from what I've been seeing, it has been like program, program videos of the internet, watch program videos and stuff like that, apparently um uh, 2k 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 i'm definitely making a slasher definitely making a slasher i don't care i don't care what you message me on the game okay if you leave it in the comment oh hey rim runner hey 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 stop it motherfucker but um yeah making a slasher i don't know why they had jordan neck looking like elastic girl um i mean it looks it looks cool 
I don't know how I feel about the delayed greens. I don't care about suspense on my jump shot. Just let me make the jump. Why does that add? Just let me make the jump shot though. You feel me? Um, just let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you're thinking about building as well. If you're going to get the game, let me know your builds down below. What you're thinking about what you're going to build. And I think that's about it. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to the channel. Original video will be linked down below in the description as well as my Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. I will be streaming this as soon as it comes out. So, you know what I'm saying? Be there. Be there. Maybe I'll start streaming on YouTube. I'm, I'm rambling now. Anyways, thank you guys for dropping by. See you next time. Peace.